Hi, this is Bill Higgins from IBM Rational. In this video, I'll show you how to configure and set up Rational Team Concert version 3.0. The first thing to ask yourself is, what are you trying to accomplish? If you're trying to just learn about Rational Team Concert, you have a couple of options. You can go to jazz.net and create a demo project area via the sandbox. Or you can install locally using the evaluation topology, which I'll talk about in a minute. If, on the other hand, you're working on a real production deployment, the first thing you should do is go to jazz.net and review the Rational Team Concert 3.0 deployment guide. This will give you a good high-level overview of the major choices involved, including how to select middleware, topologies, and licensing. Once you've made these choices, you can work through the interactive installation guide, which will take your choices and generate custom documentation to help with your installation. You probably already have a pretty good idea about what operating system and middleware you want to use. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about the supported topologies in Rational Team Concert 3.0 because they've changed a bit since Rational Team Concert 2.0. The first and simplest topology is what we call the evaluation or tire kicker topology. This configuration consists of a single physical server, which could be a real server, a desktop, or even a laptop. Inside the server, there's an Apache Tomcat application server and Apache Derby database. Inside the Tomcat application server, we have two web applications, the change in configuration management application and the Jazz Team server. This is a change versus Rational Team Concert 2.0 when there was only a single web application. Please note, this topology is not intended for production use. We have found that the Derby database cannot scale beyond 10 users, so we recommend strongly that you only use it for small-scale evaluation or very small teams. The second topology is what we call the departmental topology. This topology adds a second server to host the database, and is built on higher-end database middleware such as IBM DB2, Oracle, or SQL Server. We also recommend IBM WebSphere as the application server in this topology, though Tomcat should still work fine. Incidentally, this is the topology we use to develop Rational Team Concert with Rational Team Concert. The third and final topology I'd like to talk to you about is what we call the Enterprise Topology. This is like the departmental topology in that it's got its own database server. However, in this topology, we split the application server into two and give each web application its own dedicated server. This, of course, gives each application more physical resources such as CPU and memory and becomes even more important as you add more Jazz-based applications to the environment like requirements management and quality management. Once you've chosen your topology, use the interactive installation guide to generate custom installation documentation for your topology, operating system, and middleware. For instance, I could choose the Rational Team Concert 3.0 departmental topology, Linux, WebSphere application server, and DB2, and generate custom installation instructions for those choices. For the last part of this presentation, I'm going to assume that you used your customized installation instructions to successfully install Rational Team Concert 3.0, and now we're going to configure our installation using the Jazz Team Server Setup Wizard. In this demo, I'll be using the very simple evaluation topology, as I want to focus on the Setup Wizard flows rather than diving into details about sophisticated middleware like IBM WebSphere and DB2. Once you've installed and started the Jazz Team server, you can access the setup wizard at your host name slash JTS slash setup. I'm going to log in as the predefined admin user. You'll notice that the setup wizard has changed substantially with Rational Team Concert 3.0. This initial page explains the high level overview of the steps that the setup wizard will take you through. The next step is one of the most important configuration steps in the lifetime of your Jazz Team server. 
The Jazz architecture is based upon the web architecture, and Jazz-based applications surface all of their data via fully qualified URIs. Therefore, you should make sure that the host name of your Jazz Team server is something that you're going to be happy with for a long time. As you can see here, I have a fully qualified host name. I'm going to copy the host name up to the JTS path segment and paste it in the public URI route, validate it, and click Next. I could ignore that warning because I know it's because of an invalid certificate I'm using. The next page in the setup wizard allows you to configure the database that you're going to use to store the Jazz Team server's data. You can choose between Derby, Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, and DB2 for I and Z. I'm going to stick with Derby because I'm using the evaluation configuration. This allows me to just hit Next. Some server and application components use email to communicate with users. In this evaluation configuration, I'm not going to configure that, so I'm just going to hit Next. The Jazz Team server is designed to use an external user registry, like LDAP, as its master list of users and groups. The Setup User Registry page allows you to choose either a built-in Tomcat user database, mainly for evaluation configurations, LDAP, or a non-LDAP external user registry. Because I'm using the evaluation configuration, I'm going to stick with the local Tomcat user database. Because of this, I have to create an initial user for myself. If you recall, when I logged in, I logged in as the admin user. This is a built-in user to help you get started. After you create the initial user configure LDAP, we ask you to disable the admin user since it's a well-known user and therefore a security risk. The Register Applications page is an important new piece of functionality with Rational Team Concert 3.0. This page allows you to register applications like the Change in Configuration Management application with the Jazz Team server. Once an application is registered with the Jazz Team server, it's able to use the Jazz Team server for centralized user management and to discover other applications in the environment. Because I have both the Change and Configuration Management application and the Jazz Team server running on the same server, the Jazz Team server has already detected that the Change and Configuration Management is here and made it available for me to register. If I were running in the Distributed Enterprise configuration, I would be able to add the Change and Configuration Management application by clicking the Add Application button. But because I'm running in the Single Server configuration, I don't have to do that. I simply have to click Register Application, and the Jazz Team Server and the Change and Configuration Management application are now connected. You may have noticed that after registration succeeded, the left nav got updated with a new Change and Configuration Management section. These steps have been contributed by the Change and Configuration Management application to the unified Jazz Team Server setup wizard. So now I'm going to configure the Change in Configuration Management application. Like the Jazz Team server, you must first configure the Change in Configuration Management application's public URI. In this case, the setup wizard has pre-populated it for me. I click Test Connection, again I'm going to ignore this because of the certificate problem I know about, and click Next. The Change in Configuration Management application has its own database where it stores information like work items and source control artifacts. Once again, I'm going to stick with Derby and click Next. The Finalize Application step does some final housekeeping to get the Change in Configuration Management application fully ready and connected to the Jazz Team server. Perform user synchronization means that the Change Configuration Management application is going to use the Jazz Team server as its source of user information. This is a new feature with Rational Team Concert 
And with that, we've successfully configured the Jazz Team Server and the Change Configuration Management application, and Rational Team Concert 3.0 is ready to go. This concludes the demo. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoy Rational Team Concert 3.0.